All right, welcome back to another sketchbook tour, guys. This is my fourth sketchbook tour, and it's from March to September 2018. And this particular sketchbook I bought off of Redbubble because I wanted to try it out. And this one in particular I bought from Lavender Town. She has a YouTube video, uh, sorry, not YouTube video, a YouTube channel. And I decided to buy this to support her and just, like I said, test out the, see how good the notebooks are. And over the time of using it, it did form a crack up there and... Yeah, but I decided, since I do it to all my sketchbooks, I personalized it a little bit. I drew on this character's hat, like a little jack lantern face, and then since she didn't draw a lower half of the body, I was very tempted to draw a little tentacle leg, so I did that too. Anyway, let's look inside now. Um, so I put the month of the year at the top left of my... Uh, Whenever there's a new month, I put it up there. Um, but on the first page, as usual, I draw my persona, just because that's just what I do. And I drew my, I tried to draw myself as best I could in Mirazaki, Mirazaki Ghibli style, whatever it is, because my friend Ken asked me to. And I decided to draw a little house thing because a stacked house because I was looking at pictures of artists drawing stacked houses and I was just inspired I wanted to try it too. So I did that and then um, these are my personas of my two kitties, my two old kitties that I grew up with at home and then there's Q-Tip, he passed away so I drew him floating above them. They, All three of them used to hang out all the time. Um, but they, their 16th birthday happened so I drew a little tribute to them and so this is their personas and their kitty forms. Anyway, um, on this page, it was just an experimental page. I wanted to try, I saw like tutorials of how to blend colored pencils together. And I used, um, after putting plenty of layers of colored pencil on, I used some mineral spirits with a paintbrush and I blended it in really well. It, it has a really neat look to it. Um, not too long later, my cat Twilight got a stroke and she passed away, so I drew an angel taking her away from her sister Lucy. It was <laughs> a really sad day, but, um, <laughs> yeah, so I drew something for that. Um, this is a Patreon sketch request from Madam Hatter. Another Patreon sketch request from my friend Glant. Uh, another Patreon sketch request from my friend Fear Crows. Uh, I felt like I needed to draw wings because, um, or practice drawing wings from references because I've been just drawing wings with the feathers everywhere, just guessing how they look. And I was like, I probably should look up references and practice to draw them better. But like these came from different birds and the feather formations are kind of different on each of them. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, so these are the, all of these are tops top views of the wings. And these are bottom views of the wings. This one wasn't a reference because I couldn't find any bottom views of folded wings and I was like, I think this is what it might look like, but I don't know. So that's probably not good to reference as. But these are all bottom referenced. Um, this is the colored pencil uh, technique again with the mineral spirits. I wanted to try drawing my character Mizzy using it and I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, this is fan art from the game Cuphead. I was playing it with my brother. We died a lot, so I drew them all in like bandages and stuff because, yeah, they were probably hurting with us playing. <laughs> Um, I felt like I needed to practice to learn how to memorize how to draw cars, so I drew quite a few cars in the sketchbook um, just by ballpoint pen. So um, the references I used were from AAA magazines, and yeah, I wrote their names on the side. So here's three cars. Here's three more. Um, this is another um, Patreon sketch request. I drew three more cars. 
Um, this was a Sunday, so I drew an angel with a flower hat and some sort of corset necktie thing. I kind of like how it looks. Um, Patreon sketch request for Chirutai. Uh, Patreon sketch request for my friend Rising Phoenix. Um, I think you could recognize who that character is if you played the game. Um, I felt like drawing a Chinese dragon. I had a blue ballpoint pen on hand. I was like, I'll try this. Um, anyway, um, more cars. Ballpoint pen. Uh, another sketch request for Rising Phoenix. Sketch request for Chris. Sketch request for Chirutai. Um, some motorcycles, because I could use some practice of that, even though I think these are the only two I drew in this entire sketchbook. Eh. Uh, this is another angel drawing. I didn't get around to shading it with marker, so it's just ballpoint pen. Yeah, she has a crazy long spine, and the dress is supposed to float off into the distance, but I could only cram so much into these um, papers. Uh, another Sunday passed. Um, this is supposed to be like four angels sharing one body, I think, but you can't really tell because their wings are covering it. Um, let's see, July, I decided to try drawing a patriotic kind of angel, so I drew like red and white striped hair, and I thought it was an interesting idea to give wings into the hair as well. And I didn't draw that halo far enough, so it kind of looks like a headdress, but whatever. I wanted to try drawing this a second time, so... Actually, I messed up on these two pictures, because this is supposed to be watercolor uh, marker, but I decided to just let it sit and dry, and I didn't watercolor it. I tried doing it later, but it was dried, so I was like, oops! I think I was thinking that they would still work after applying water to it. I don't know why I was thinking that, probably because I have watercolor pencils as well and that'll work, but it won't work with markers, so keep that in mind for next time. Anyway, um, I drew my friend Anna's character, Eros. I wanted to draw him in a fluffy outfit because I was watching her live stream and she, I think she was drawing him and she always draws him in tight outfits and I wanted to see him in something fluffy so I drew up this big fluffy cape thing. Anyway, um, another Patreon sketch request for Rising Phoenix. Uh, Patreon sketch request for Stalnig. Um, he wanted me to draw Shakespeare for some reason so I drew him all creepy. <laughs> um, this is a sketch request for Chris. Uh, sketch request for Zach. Sketch request for Chirutai. Um, I don't know if I care for this picture, but I was experimenting. This is an angel with two giant masks that are supposed to be floating around him. Nah, it's okay, but... Uh. Um, this is a crystal serpent angel. So it has a long body, but like I... Like usual, you can't see it because I'm limited with the page space. But, yeah. And this was an uh, interesting idea. I decided to draw a scripture kind of angel. There's, It's just a bunch of papers um, with multiple faces. And, yeah, I thought it was an interesting idea. Um, I saw... I was looking up images on Pinterest for some reason, and... I came across this sheep with the most um, fancy, fanciest looking horns. Four horns. I just thought it was a cute looking sheep, so this is a referenced image of a real sheep somewhere. Anyway, um, month of August already. I drew another weird angel. It has like a mouth in its stomach and a whole bunch of eyes, and there's supposed to be four faces, but you can only see two. The the front, the top, the two sides, you could see the noses, but uh, I think I was having um, 
an art block and I just kind of drew whatever so it doesn't look that great. I wasn't thinking it through. Um, I started watching, what's it called? That Troll Hunters Tales of Arcadia thing and I, I got really sucked into it so I liked this character so I decided to draw him. And two other characters I like to draw, I, I liked in that show. This is Agor Rot, and then not Enrique. <laughs> uh, that was fine. Oh, um, actually, these I should mention these two methods. I have a bunch of markers that are super old and cheap that I need to get start getting rid of. So I, since they are always super duper dark. I used it as shading and then I went over it with colored pencil and it looks not bad. I like how it turned out. So I'm probably going to try doing it more. Yeah, I did it here again. I used red marker, uh, probably um, Crayola markers, those cr very cheap, inexpensive things, and then I used colored pencil on top of it. And so this is a red rose angel. I like how she looks. Let's get in frame. Um, yes, more Patreon sketches. This is for Madam Hatter. I was supposed to draw this on a card, so I had to draw it a second time, which was a pain in the butt. Uh, this is for Chris. He always asks me to draw this character. <laughs> um, this is for Chirutai. I think she turned out okay. Um, this is for another Patreon sketch request, Boom Bastico. He asked for Doom. The, from the Nougat Doom game. This, is, this was a pain in the butt to draw, but I tried. Um, this is for my friend Fearcross, um, requested by my friend Gallant. Um, and Daisy was requested for Rising Phoenix. Um, another angel. I actually um, drew this angel stupidly and I just darkened it a whole bunch up and edited it to look differently. I think I like it better now than how it was. Um, I was thinking of doing um, art trading cards again, uh, commission art trading card live stream things, and I was doodling them out here to see how much, how long it would take me and how much I should charge. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is for Draw Kill. This is of her character. This is of my character, Mizzy. And this is Troll Jim from the Troll Hunters series that I was just talking about. Um, some black and white ones. Wasn't sure if I should have black and white ones, but people got them, so that's good. This is for Pastel Monster. This is of her character, Cookie. And this Cloud from Final Fantasy. Um, another angel. I wanted to draw an angel full of wings on the head and then it just kind of happened with the arms and legs too. If I were to draw this again, I'd probably um, draw the legs differently, but it is what it is at the moment. Can't erase a ballpoint pen once I lay it down. Uh, this, I was brainstorming different looks for certain tiny angels. They might show up in future stories of mine, maybe. Messenger angels, comfort angels, yeah. Um, September, another angel. It's supposed to be a big flat mask looking thing. Uh, I feel like I could draw this guy better if I were to draw him again. But the idea is, it's okay. Um, my friend Chise's birthday, also known as Pastel Monster, on YouTube. Her birthday was this day, so I drew her character Juno. Um, another angel. I drew a bunch of birds and I called it a bird angel. I don't know. I, don't know. Uh, I was hanging out at my friend Ken's place and I drew this character. This is my persona of myself because we were watching uh, an anime while we were drawing and I didn't know what to draw. My mind was blank so <laughs> I drew myself standing on a toilet because I had this idea in my head for a long time but yep I'm high on pot because I'm standing on a toilet. 
Anyway, um, more sketch requests for Patreon. Uh, this is for Boom Bastico. This is for Chris. This is for Rising Phoenix. This is a character from the game Detroit Become Human. I have not watched it, the gameplay yet. Um, another angel. Um, this is actually, this angel has a black face and it has like two half masks. And yeah, it's, it's like a griffinish kind of feathery angel thing with four arms with wings. Yeah, I think I was um, having another brain fart when I drew this and I just drew whatever. It's like a doodle that be, I, I keep adding to it until it looks good because I was not satisfied with it when I first started drawing it. Now it's okay. Um, this is from the Life is Strange series, the first um, first games. Um, Chloe, Rachel, and Max. And let's see, I drew this because we just finished playing the after this before the storm game with Rachel and Chloe, and I just liked it. I think they did a good job on those games. Have a good story, so. Um, and since I've... Okay, this is the last picture for this um, sketchbook, and I decided to draw Lavender Town's character. I forgot. I don't know the name. I haven't read her comic, even though I, I'm meaning to. I just, I just haven't yet. But I drew her character at the end to end it as a tribute for buying her sketchbook and I think it turned out I did the marker and colored pencil thing again so anyway that's the end I drew a little end sticker stamp thing I hope you guys enjoyed that also in conclusion I just wanted to say real quick that this wasn't such a bad sketchbook from Redbubble Sorry, it's not a sketchbook, it's a notebook, but I just used it as a sketchbook. Except for that little crack there, I think that's the only wear, really. It got a little dirty, but that's, you know, expected. Um, the paper is a bit on the thin side, so it definitely bleeds through. So what uh, I suggest, if you get one of these for a sketchbook, just fold a piece of paper in half, stick it behind your drawing as you're using it, and so it doesn't bleed on the next page. So yeah, I might get another one of these sometime, but not yet. I have like a zillion sketchbooks. But um, I hope you all enjoyed the tour. It's not as exciting as my other ones, but <laughs> it is what it is. So I'll see you guys next sketchbook tour, whenever that is. And yeah, bye for now.